Bowie, super coach, great to see you all. It's Saturday today, which is showtime, and what an outstanding opportunity to be able to engage with your community and your customer base. We've also got Super Roxy. Hey, Rox, say hi. There she is. Best assistant ever. Okay, the beauty with Saturdays, and the reason I'm so passionate about this day of the week is when you think about it, literally everything we do during the week and every dollar we spend during the week is simply a means to an end to get face to face with our community and potential customers. The beauty about Saturday is our vendors are paying for marketing that automatically gets you in front of customers, yet this is the day where many agents, not all, but many agents can be fatigued and can be complacent and have low energy. And the tips that I'm gonna provide you today cost absolutely zero. So what are you gonna do with open houses and auctions? The first thing is when someone approaches you and says, Adrian, I really like this property, are the owners open to selling it prior to auction? Or if it's a private treaty sale, Adrian, what do I need to do to buy this property? Now we all know for every five or six buyers that potentially are not qualified, there's one that wants to purchase the property. So just focus on those ones. I hear so many agents saying that, oh, buyers are a bit hesitant, they're concerned about interest rates. That's great, but for every five or six of those, there's one who's just sold or has a pre-approval that doesn't want to lapse and are very, very keen to buy. So. I coached an agent and the other day he said to me, Bowie, I took on board what you said. I started conducting face-to-face -face buyer meetings with my serious people and someone did ask him the question at the open house, what do I need to do to buy the property? And he said to him, listen, are you free at two o'clock this afternoon? Why don't we sit down and have a coffee? Outstanding. Uh, Long story short, that person bought the property within 24 hours, outstanding result for the vendor, the buyer was delighted, and it was that face-to-face -face trust and rapport and being transparent with integrity and honesty which got the deal over the line. So what do we need to do when we're asked that type of question today? Well, what I don't like and what can be quite typical in the industry is when agents say, oh, look, you know, we're not too sure. We're just assessing the feedback at this stage. Um, you know, we'll let you know in a couple of weeks, you know, what the price should be to be able to buy. It, it's insanity, insanity. I mean, look, what we need to be doing as agents is making the purchasing process as simple as possible. So do it audit on yourself. Are you easy to do business? Are you quick to do business with? So better dialogue would be, I really appreciate you asking me that question, Adrian. I actually sat down with my clients this week and the good news is that even though we have an auction date scheduled, we've adopted a hybrid approach for this particular property, which means that we are open to offers, almost like on a private treaty situation, all the way up into the auction date. And we do have a published price guide. And if you're somewhere around that and in you provide your offer in this format, then my owner has asked me to deliver all offers to them and I'd be delighted to assist you to purchase the property. Great, but if it's the opposite, which is is, look, it is a deceased estate. There are multiple beneficiaries involved. Uh, my owner's instructions are to pr provide a transparent environment for all buyers to bid competitively on the day. And we're only 14 business days away, so please do your due diligence. I'll definitely keep you in, in touch with you and I'll meet with you a couple of times a week in order to ensure that you're fully prepared for this purchase. Outstanding, either answer is fine. There's a sharp contrast between both, but they're transparent and they're direct and they're not opaque. This opaque type of response when we're talking about, oh, we'll see what happens and we'll let you know in a couple of weeks, you're just going to lose clients. You're not easy to do business. You're not transparent. So that's a tip. Another tip is world-class open for inspections. What does that look like? Really easy. Um, you know, small things like toilet seats down. Everyone knows that's worked with me. That's one of my pet hates. Um, 
soft lighting instead of overhead lighting. So bedside lights, lamps, etc., uh, fresh air, windows, natural light coming through, all your collateral beautifully lined up there, whether it's pest building, contracts, comparable sales, whatever it might be. Also engaging with the client really well. So introducing yourself with high energy and saying, hi, my name's Adrian Bow. Great to see you today. Here's a brochure on the property. Look, please feel free to have a look around. Uh, my colleagues inside and we'll both be here if you've got any questions about the property. And then when you get an opportunity to speak to them again at that particular open house, you know, engage a little bit further rather than just price, budget and bedrooms. You know, like where are you currently living? Uh, you know, what are your hobbies with the family? Where do the kids go to school? And almost conduct callback like dialogue, if you like, at the open for inspection, which your objective with the callbacks is simply to find out, are they interested in the property? Where's their finance journey up to? Do they own locally? And can you book in an appraisal for their property? So, and also try and get some feedback in terms of price as well. So look, all outstanding tips, very simple to do, they cost nothing, and it's insanity that there's agents still spending thousands of dollars on DL cards and social media. It definitely should be part of your strategy, don't get me wrong, but it is crazy if you're spending that much money and not having high energy at your open houses, not engaging with people, uh, and not conducting world-class open for inspections, and not being uh, transparent at the inspection. You must be transparent, you must engage, you must have eye contact, you must repeat their name. You can't be opaque with your responses. Look, it's showtime, have a great day. Can't wait to see you out in the field. If I do, God bless and always live with virtue.